Hello, my name is Brandon Cross, and I am an intern for You Matter here at California State University, Chico. And uh, this is just going to be a little personal vlog that we're going to put up on the websites. And uh, I know a lot of other interns tend to do a lot of self-care, self-help videos, which are all awesome. I highly recommend you go check them out. Uh, you Matter, we are on all social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. So uh, go check us out. And uh, so, but today I'm just going to talk a little bit because that's just kind of what I do. So uh, today she's going to be talking about a little bit on what it means to have the life of a survivor and kind of what that means later on in your life that maybe some people don't realize and uh, it's going to be a little bit from personal experience as well and so maybe this helps in any way that it can. I hope that maybe it does. So um, when you have the life of a survivor a lot of it comes from maybe you growing up in an unstable environment that can be really toxic to grow up and be around in and you know it can come from being in maybe a verbally abusive or physically abusive environment either way it's a really struggle to grow up in a place like that and uh, one of the things that happens when you grow up living that type of life um, later on you tend to be someone who you have this act of noticing every little small detail that may come into play. You tend to take the smallest of nuances and then you just magnify them into a much bigger portion than other people may think that they are. And it's not that you do it intentionally, it's just kind of a habit. It's what you were programmed, it's how you were built up to survive growing up in that type of environment. And I just want to go a little bit today about kind of, you know, what it means to be like that. And um, so for an example, like if you're in a group of friends, you're all just talking and hanging out, uh, you maybe noticed that you got interrupted or another friend maybe got interrupted while they were talking a couple times here or there. And it's not that your friends are being rude or anything, it just kind of happens. It's small details like that or... Um, you know, it's also like noticing the smallest shift in tone when someone is talking. And, you know, you take all these small details and you really look at them more than other people may think. People might think that you're overanalyzing or overlooking, but it's just kind of what we do on a natural basis. And um, another thing that you may do is you might end up playing a lot of power dynamics, and that could just be within your own group of friends as well. You could be surrounded by them and then when you play these power dynamics you act one way with someone and then over there on the other side you act a completely different way with someone else because that is what you're accustomed to doing you're accustomed to kind of having this difference of a mentality difference of a conversation different difference of an approach when you're talking with someone because of the environment that you grew up in and um of course like i said this stems from being in an unstable environment and the reason why you tend to look at all these small details and blow them out of portion is because when you grow up in that type of environment, you learn at such a very early young age that the smallest of things can end up becoming breaking points for that household, whether it's from your parents or whether it's from your siblings or whatever it may be. So when you have this mentality that the smallest of details can just be an absolute breaking point for everything you tend to kind of tiptoe around these types of things as the life of the survivor. You uh, you end up having these survivor skills and this adaptive ability whenever you walk into a new room, you quickly learn what the vibe and how to read the room that you are entering and from there you quickly are able to determine how you're going to approach it, whether you're going to act a certain way or another way and you learn to completely manage your moods you learn to stay in check a lot when it comes to your emotions you'll play it one way over here but then you'll play it another way over here and it it's definitely you know something you just learn it's a trick of being a survivor you learn to adapt you learn to adjust you look at the smallest of details and it's just you learn how to survive in these types of environments so when the next time if you're out with your friends and you notice all these small detail things and you feel like no one's caring or that something is a much bigger, de uh, bigger deal than what it really is, it, I would like to say that like it's not on you, it's not your fault that you're like this, that you tend to look at these things and maybe cause you a little extra anxiety, but it just becomes from being a survivor, we learn to live with these traits, we learn to live with these skills because that was the only way that we 
could live somehow in these environments. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about it today. Um, hopefully this helps maybe a little bit. I know it's not that long, but um, maybe we can talk about it more later on. And so I just hope this shines a little light on an issue that maybe a lot of people don't really realize that they're doing it, or maybe they do, they just don't quite know how to put it in words. And so thank you for taking the time just to listen to this a little bit. I hope it helps. Thank you.